Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to convert an image in blob, which basically bytes array, and vice versa using base64 encoder in your Android app. So let's begin. Let's create a new project. Name it as image to blob and click finish. Wait for the environment to load. Once the environment loads, I'll do one thing. I'll just start the emulator also in parallel on the right hand side. And in the main code, in the manifest file, I'll declare the user permission. So the only permission which I need is to read the media images. So this is the only permission which I need. However, I'll also have to ensure that I ask this permission from the user. So that I can do by using activity compare dot request permission new string and that and so you may have to press alt enter to import the required constant a static constant so it will get imported if i can expand this yeah this is what is important and you will continue here and the last argument will be the package manager permission granted perfect so I'm not sure why this didn't come up. I'll restart. And apart from this, okay. So let me do it once again. And okay, so emulator came up in the parallel. Okay, perfect. Is asking for yeah, allow or give the permission to access all the uh, images of your phone. Oh, perfect. So the emulator has come up and with the app here. I'll show you something in the my files uh, download folder. I have few images, so I think flower.jpg. This is the image which we'll use in this particular example. So let me do that. Let me come back here. And before I continue, I'll do one thing. I'll first create a public method button block image to block image to block view. View public void. I think I'm missing the return type which we can use void. And now what I'll do is in my layout, I'll create a button. And this button will be convert to blob, convert to blob. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll create two image views. I don't think I need a text view. Let me zoom in. I don't think I need a text view. So I'll just delete this and I'll create two image view. I'll do one thing. First, I'll create the image view one on top and background could be this one. No problem. And I'll give some constraints and this will be image view one. Okay, and then I'll put one another image view which will be below the button. So initially I'll display the image, the initial image in the first one, and the converted image in the second one. So that's why I put two image views. So that's perfectly fine. Image view two is the ID for this one, and image view one is the ID for the first one. If I go here, I'll quickly create two class variables of type image view and image view one and image view. Two, and then I will in the own create method itself. I'll associate this to the widget which I've shown. Find you by id r dot id dot image view one, and this one will be for image view two. This one is for two. Perfect. So once I've done this, okay, this one my mistake. It should have been image view two. Perfect. So once we have done this, and also in the button, I will associate it with this particular method. So I will go back in the button. If you scroll down in the on click attribute here, just associate it with the particular method what we have just now defined. So here, uh, what we will do is first we will try to access the particular uh, image, this flower JPG file. So what that how we will do is we will create something called a storage manager. A storage manager storage manager and get system service a storage service 
you may have to type that cross expression perfect yeah let's do it and now from this storage manager we will get the particular volume storage volume this one and storage volume could be storage manager dot get a storage volume and then the index so zero is for the internal view zero for internal storage and one is i think for external yeah for storage perfect so once we have this then what we can do is we can try to fetch the file from this so file image which is basically the image file and what we can do over here new file and we can give the file path so we can give the storage volume dot get directory dot get path so this will give me the path till the internal storage so then i will have to append the download folder so download slash and the file name probably flower dot jpg perfect so once we have this file uh, then we can start getting the bitmap uh, for this so bitmap this is the first image which is the initial image so <coughs> initial image okay and here what we can do is we can use something called bitmap factory dot decode file and here we have to give the path name of the file so what we can do with this in fact rather than using the file uh, we can just directly copy paste control c and control v here i think this will work i don't think we need a file variable as such so this will create me the bitmap over here and first and foremost what I, we can do it is we can display this bitmap in our image view one dot set image bitmap and bitmap one perfect so this takes care uh, care of my initial image now we will do encoding into the blob so how we can do that we will create something called byte array output stream byte array output stream new byte array output stream now in this we can use the bitmap one to compress bitmap dot compress format and we can use the format say for example anything change is to time and then second argument will be quality which we can probably give zero the default value and the stream which is the above what we have just now created so this will compress and put it into this byte uh, array output stream and from this we can convert it into the bytes array so what we can do with this we can create this and then bytes image encoded and here we can use the bytes array output stream to byte array perfect so this will take away encoding now i will do one thing i will do decoding now from this particular bytes images encoded what we have got here so to do the decoding before that what we can do we can just quickly create a string variable from this bytes array so basically we can convert this bytes into string image bytes image bytes and for that we can use something called base64 dot get encoder and encode to string and here we can give this as an input so this gets encoded here yeah and now we will use this particular string to decode on the other side so probably what i can do is string string or as an string i think i can directly use bytes array we can yeah and here what else is bytes image decoded and for decoding what i'll do is i'll use again that same base 64 dot get decoder and here the input will be the string which we have created above so once we have this decoded bytes what we can do it is we can create something called bytes input stream bytes input stream and here we can create 
the input stream and enter the bytes what we have just now received above decoded one and with this decoded one we can once we have this bytes uh, uh, decoded then we can create another bitmap which is basically bitmap2 and bitmap factory dot decode from stream decode stream the input stream is what we will require here and we already have that in terms of this one and once we have this then we will use image view 2 to set our image bitmap which is basically bitmap 2 perfect so in image view 1 we are setting a very raw image what we will read here and this is the decoded one so let's let and see how it comes up so let them to come up so let's just do some cleanup here yeah so right now uh, nothing is there of course because everything i put in is in this button on click attribute so i have clicked this perfect so if you notice both the images will come i think both are Update the okay. So I'll do one thing. I'll make everything left hand side, like this side, and this one in the. I think this one. I think this, yeah. Okay. Now let me rerun it and see how it comes up. So I've not done much of the image uh, processing here, the length and width. If I would have done that, it would have looked much better. But yeah. I'm just trying to show the very basic functionality how we can encode and decode into the block which is basically the bytes array and vice versa over here so encoding and decoding over here so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye